good morning in today's section also we will take down one problem based on the solenoid finding out uh, we know that how to find out a magnetic field at the center of a solenoid based on that we will do one problem now take down the question first a solenoid a solenoid 60 centimeter long 60 centimeter long and of radius 4 cm and of radius 4 cm has three layers of winding has three layers of windings of 300 turns each 300 turns each a 2 cm long wire 2 cm long wire of mass 2.5 gram of mass 2.5 gram lies inside solenoid lies inside solenoid in bracket you can write near its center near its center normal to its axis both the wire and axis of the solenoid are in the horizontal plane both the wire both the wire and axis of the solenoid or in the horizontal plane or in the horizontal plane the wire is connected the wire is connected through two leads through two leads you can write your leads parallel to the axis of the solenoid parallel to the axis of the solenoid to an external battery external battery which supplies a current of 6 amp amperes in the wire which supplies a current of 6 amperes in the wire what value of current in bracket you can write with appropriate sense of circulation appropriate sense of circulation in the windings in the windings of the solenoid can support the weight of the wire can support the weight of the wire so the question looks very big so let us read and understand the question first what we are given as we are given with a solenoid of 60 centimeter long and of radius 4 centimeter and the solenoid has three layers of windings and each layer has 300 turns each now inside the solenoid you are keeping a long wire of 2 cm in length a 2 cm long wire and the mass of that wire is given 2.5 gram lights inside the solenoid so you can say that at near its center normal to the axis of the solenoid 
both the wire both the wire and axis of the solenoid or in the horizontal plane the wire is connected through two leads parallel to the axis of the solenoid to an external battery the wire is connected to an external battery which supplies a current of 6 ampere now the what value of current with appropriate sense of circulation in the windings so here windings in the windings so i left i think there is some spelling mistake here so you can write windings d i n g s in the windings of the solenoid can support the weight of the wire now we know that when a current carrying conductor is placed in the magnetic field it experiences a force which is given by b i l now when a current flows in the solenoid it produces a magnetic field b at the center of the solenoid first we will find out what is the magnitude of the magnetic field in the solenoid so we know that when a current i flows through solenoid it produces a magnetic field inside the solenoid this magnetic field is given by given by b is equal to mu not into ni mu not into n into i now n we have to calculate n is number of turns per length unit length so number of turns divided by length now what will be the total number of turns in this given solenoid we have three layers of 300 turns that is why the total number of turns will be 300 multiplied by 3 300 into 3 divided by length of the solenoid so the length of the solenoid given is 60 centimeter you can take 60 centimeter convert it into meter so that will be 60 into 10 to the power minus 2 is equal to 1500 turns per meter and the current uh, we don't know we have to find out what is the current in the solenoid so that is why we can write b now is becomes equal to mu naught that is 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 multiplied by small n which is equal to 1500 into i now simplify this you will get b is equal to 18.84 18.84 into 10 to the power minus 4 into i so this much tesla now a current carrying wire is suspended inside the solenoid when a current carrying wire is suspended inside the solenoid to balance the weight of the wire so given that given a current carrying wire a current carrying wire so current i in the wire is given as equal to 6 ampere so a current carrying wire with current equal to 6 ampere is suspended inside the solenoid inside the solenoid suspended inside the solenoid so this 
current carrying conductor experiences a force due to the magnetic field inside the solenoid therefore to balance the weight of the wire the force the magnetic force b i l experienced by that wire should be equal to m into g therefore we can write therefore to balance to balance the weight of the wire 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 by the magnetic force by the magnetic force to balance the weight of the wire by the magnetic force so i into b into the length of the wire i b i will take the length of the wire as l should be equal to m into g so here i is the current in the wire right i is the current through the wire which is given in the problem is equal to 6 ampere and l is length of the wire which is kept inside the solenoid length of wire and this is also given in the question as 2 cm 2 cm that is l and m is the mass of the wire which is also given as 2.5 gram and g value you already know it is 9.8 into 9.8 meter per second square now substitute all this i is 6 and b is the magnetic field inside the solenoid which is given by just now we have calculated it as 18.84 into 10 to the power minus 4 into i this is b into a length of the wire is 2 cm so convert it into meter 2 into 10 to the power minus 2 which is equal to m into g m is 2.5 gram convert it into meter again so convert all sorry convert it into kg because convert all the units into si units into g g is 9.8 meter per second square now calculate i therefore i the current in the uh mag uh, the current in the solenoid i is here uh, so i think i can uh, you if you want you can change you know this current you can take it as so i is the current through the wire we have taken okay i is the current through the wire here it is given that 6 ampere but here this i is so this i whatever we are writing is current through the solenoid or current in the solenoid so this is a solenoid part but the, you know a current carrying by i is equal to 6 ampere so that current as the current in the wire there are two currents here one is the current through the solenoid another one is the current through the wire so now this i will be equal to if you want you can take different notations for both the current for more clarity divided by but i have here clearly mentioned the i is the current through the length of the wire but this current is the current through the solenoid So two point five into ten to the minus three into ten nine point eight divided by six divided by eighteen point eight four into ten to the minus four divided by two into ten to the power minus two. So now let us do this calculation, and if you do that, you will get the current I through the solenoid is one out eight point four amperes.
so solenoid current solenoid solenoid current or current to the solenoid is equal to 108.4 ampere so this much current is required to flow through the solenoid to balance the weight of the wire by the magnetic field produced by the solenoid because when the current flows through the solenoid a magnetic field is produced so the magnetic force must uh, you know this force must balance the weight of the wire also so to do that we have to supply a current of 108.4 ampere through the solenoid hope you understood this problem